What's going on guys? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics here and I'm reevaluating this Spider-Man collection and I need some advice. Should we submit this thing to CGC? And if we have to only submit just a couple, I need your advice on which ones I should submit. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so here's the deal. This is the Spider-Man collection. I actually mentioned it previously. It was sitting in the same closet for the last 20 years. Finally, me and my buddy Wyatt said, you know what, let's break this out. See if there's anything worth submitting to CGC. And what we're going to do is we're going to submit five books. I'm choosing four. You guys are going to help me choose the fifth. Immediately, you're probably going to see there's a couple things that are no-brainers, meaning we want to submit those out for sure. But there are going to be about 10 or more in the maybe pile that I'm going to need your help with, so get ready to type in the comments what you want to see me submit. Uh, some uh, keys here of note, and what's great about these is the total investment so far is $0. These comics were uh, either $1 you know, purchased in like 03, or a lot of these were frankly just freebies. One thing that was a shame is I couldn't find the first Hobgoblin or first uh, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 299, both of which I knew were in this collection. We don't know where they are, so he's gonna uh, do some more looking, but in the meantime, there's more than enough good stuff here uh, that would pique my interest for submitting to CGC especially that Simpsons book over there. Uh, a couple Daredevils, but uh, you know, not quite submittable. Check out this upcoming right here. We've got the first appearance of Vigilante in a highly rare newsstand. Stupid amounts of money that one goes for. That is an example of a definite one that we're gonna be submitting out, just for an example here. So I'll get through this part, and then upcoming, I'm gonna show you the four that I picked out the possible grades that I think they can get, and then I'm going to break down what I think is going to be the maybe pile, and I'll have you guys choose here. That's the first Cletus Cassidy right there. Very nice. Yeah, well, there were a lot more Spider-Man books, but we can't seem to find them. First Speedball. Very nice. Normie Osborne there. Very nice. Uh, there were more Hulks than I uh, remembered from this run. All right, yeah, keep it going. More Spideys, more Spideys. I kind of glossed over those Marvel team-ups. Those are pretty cool, though. And some generic books here, although I do love some Ultimates. Check out these um, early Spider-Man books here. I won't be submitting these in, but, uh, you know, that's okay. They're still great to have older Spideys like that, that 97, that drug issue, as well as this 116. Too bad that it's got mold all over that one. It happens. King Size Daniel 11. Very nice. And that's going to end this collection. So let's go ahead and jump forward. And I'm going to show you guys what are the definite fours that we're going to be doing. This is an easy looking 9.8 right here. It's the first appearance of Speedball. For me, we found that this one should be a definite submission. Um, we're feeling pretty strongly about that. If it wasn't for two spine kicks and one dog ear on the top right, this first appearance of Monica Rambeau could have hit a 9.8. Notice how it's the newsstand. This is an extru- a newsstand is like a freaking $2,500 or $3,000 book. This one's probably a 9.4, but we'll see. By the way, all the suggestions of the grades are pre-press. For example, this first appearance of Vigilante newsstand, I think should be able to get a 9.8 without a press. We will be pressing the books that we submit, so hopefully they get at least the grades that I think they can fetch. Last up, we're gonna finish up with the uh, first appearance of Cletus Casty. Looks like a 9.6 to me, but with a press, who knows? Maybe we could squeeze it to a 9.8. Another newsstand. So these are the four we're doing, and zero dollars so far after CGC and everything, it's gonna be cleanly over 2,000. So, which is gonna be our fifth book? We've got about 10 here for you guys to choose from. Amazing Spider-Man, King Size Annual number 12, in stupidly nice shape for a uh, mid-70s book here. 
uh, does look like a possible 9-4. Now, I think for that one, I might be a little... Uh, that's that's one of my votes, but that doesn't matter. So this is the first appearance of the fly or the human fly or something like that. I don't care about the first appearance. I just care for how nice it looks for the age. 1976 annual that looked really sharp. I'd definitely be interested in submitting that one. Now this next one's a bit of a harder sell. This one is not in particularly good shape. Every time I find this book in the wild, it's in really ratty condition. Um, interestingly, this is probably nicer than some of the ones I find. I can never find a high, high grade. So, probably not, but I did think I'd show you guys. Uh, first appearance, well, this is them finding out that the symbiote suit was an alien. Kind of a notable book in the Spidey world here. Does look in the mid nines there. Newsstand too. The same with this one, also Newsstand. The first cameo, tiny little cameo of uh, Carnage there. Probably can squeeze a 9-2 out of this, but this one's 9-2 with a press, I'd say. Next up, we've got the first appearance of Carnage. Not the first full appearance, but the first appearance. Check it out, 360. Not a new stand like some of these others, but it looks like a possible 9-0 candidate. We said maybe 8-5 to play it safe. Uh, now this one looks like a 9-0 to me, hopefully. Um, I was a little unimpressed with the sales data for a 9 for this first appearance of Silver Sable. I thought it would be higher, but we'll, we'll see. Next we got the first appearance of the Joe Fixit Persona. Cool one to have. It looks like a mid-9s for sure. I think if they were super, super generous, we could maybe look at a 9-6, but, you know, I think it's a 9-4. Next up, we got the first Hydro Man. It's a little dip in quality from some of those other ones. Uh, it's about an 8-0, uh, I'd say. Pretty, pretty safe bet there. And then a little jump in quality here. We got the Keebler team up with New Teen Titans. It's an anti-drug issue. This thing's minty fresh, guys. That one could be a 9-8, we'll see. And last but not least, we're gonna top it off with the Superman issue number one. Um, I wouldn't have included it in here, but it does look like it could fetch a 9-8, so I tossed it in here. Not bad. So guys, which of these should be the fifth book that we submit in? Let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you enjoyed the video. And hopefully with the new CGC return times, it won't take six or seven months to get back. Hopefully it'll just be a few months. We will just have to wait and see. As always guys, keep on hunting.